What does your rank actually mean, Jeff Kaplan? Well, he tells us, ladies and gentlemen, and Overwatch League is back, but there is a bit of a problem with the start times for the games. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa. Now, the Blizzard forums have been updated and there are some interesting updates on the forum. It has like new features, it looks newer, it looks fancier and all of that stuff. Anyway, to kickstart some of the posting in the various sub like forums for Overwatch, Jeff has made a couple of posts. He responded to some posts, you know. He put a little poll up and asked people what their favorite map is. It's all fine, it's all jazzy. However, he then actually put up the competitive mode tier distribution. Now that sounds hella fancy, but what that means is how many players how, or what percentage of the active player base is actually in each rank when it comes to competitive. So check this out here on the screen. This is the tier distribution. Now on the left hand side, we have the tier distribution from Scott Mercer for season three competitive. So if we look at this, this is obviously old data, but this says 6% of players in bronze, uh, bronze, 22% in silver, 34% in gold, 23% in platinum, 10% in diamond, 3% in master, and under 1% in grandmaster. That was cool, but that was season three. So what we've got here are the season eight statistics or the current statistics according to what Jeff said, because Jeff said, hey, competitive forum, we know how much you like stats. To welcome you to the new forums, here is a breakdown of where everyone is in competitive play. Looking forward to your discussions in this forum. Okay, so what we've got here from Jeff is the, the graph on the right. And if we compare this back to season three, it's super, super interesting. Look at this. There's actually more players in bronze now than there were in season three. So 8% of the population compared to 6% are now in bronze, right? That's pretty funky. But check this out. Less of the population is in silver. Now there's 21%, but there were 22%. That's funky. Gold has gone down as well. So there's only 32% of the population in gold. Instead of 34, platinum has actually gone up. There are now 25% of players in platinum compared to 23% in season three. Diamond is 10%. Master is 3%. They're still the same. Grandmaster though is 1% of the player base. Now it used to be under 1%. Now there are some like kind of little, uh, uh, like how can I say this? Sort of like allowances that have been made here by Blizzard. If you add the numbers up, you'll notice that they don't add up to 100 in a lot of cases. Uh, this is because they're sort of rounding up the results, so we just get an easier way of viewing the data. Um, Grandmaster being 1% could still be under 1%, we don't know. But the fact is, this shows you where the average player of Overwatch is. And I've always said this, the average player is gold and platinum. It is not diamond. People seem to think an, an average player of Overwatch is diamond. And I hate it when people are like, oh, it's a diamond scrub or whatever. It's not. That's somebody in the top 10% of players in the entire game. Now, one thing it would be nice to know would be the amount of players that actually are playing Overwatch competitive. I don't think we'll ever see this data made available because, you know, Blizzard wouldn't like you to be like, oh, look, the population's declining, you know, your game's dying. They're probably not going to like that if that information became public. But this does give us an idea of where the average skill distribution is. And then when you look at the higher end, so luckily for me, I'm able to play in Grand Master. That means I'm the top 1%. That's like a huge achievement. Master is top 3%. That is massive. Anyone with a Master rank is an extremely good player. Diamond as well. You're top 10%. Like, I can't stress how good that is. In any walk of life, if you are top 10%, you are like a fantastic player. And then we drop down to Platinum. 25% of players, right? That's... That, that's pretty good. Like, that is pretty, pretty good, right? Platinum is sort of average. High plat, you'd be really good. Lower plat, you're kind of airing more on average. And then we sort of go into gold, and that's average, and that's fine. Gold means that you're a good player, you're a decent player, but obviously you're better than a silver player, and a bronze is obviously quite small. Another thing we can take from this is the distribution of bronze players compared to master and grandmaster. Only 4% of the population is at the top, yet 8% is at the bottom. Now, you're always going to get that with those ranks. They're always going to be extreme. You're not going to have like loads of people in bronze or loads of people in the top ranks. So this, in a way, shows that their ranking system kind of works when it gives you your rank. Uh, but there you go, guys. Don't be ashamed of your rank. Your rank is pretty damn good. If you're gold, you're basically average. Platinum, you're kind of above average. Diamond, you're very good. Master, you're extremely good. Grandmaster, you're phenomenal. And top 500, you're just, a, you're amazing, right? Those plays are ridiculous. Awesome. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below as well, guys. It is funky to get these kind of stats off Blizzard and especially off Jeff.
Right then, next up we've got Overwatch League. So this starts today uh, or tomorrow. If you're in, the, if you're watching this video now today, um, it starts tomorrow if you're in Europe. But it starts at midnight in the UK or 1 a.m. in well, Central European time. In the US, I think the games start at 4 p.m. Um, Pacific time. Now this is really annoying, like absolutely annoying to me because I'm in the UK. Now, let me just explain why this is happening, because a lot of people are going, oh, this is so bad. We're not going to be able to watch Overwatch League games, and it's and it's right, right? This is a horrifically bad time for Europe. It's because the players had a severe problem with playing late games and then waking up to have to play early morning games. It happened to Spitfire, where they had to play the last game of the, the block, so and then like literally have 10 hours and then they have to turn up for the next game. That is like insanity for the players. So what Blizzard have done, have decided to push the start time back by two hours. So the start time, you know, would have been like 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Now it's 4 p.m. I believe. It's basically two hours it's been increased because a lot of the games um, used to start at 10 p.m. for uh, the UK, right? Unless it was at the weekend, then the games might start a little bit earlier, which they still will. Um, like you guys can see on the screen here, um, these are the UK times because I'm back in the UK. So we can see that the first game, Seoul Dynasty against Los Angeles Valiant, actually starts at midnight. Um, and then the next game starts at 2 a.m. And then the last game starts at 4 a.m. Now, there were times where I stayed up to watch Spitfire games or even just, you know, I watched pretty much all of Overwatch League. But 4 a.m. would have been the end of Overwatch League. Now that's the start of the final game. That means it's 6 a.m. So if you wanted to watch your team play, that is horrifically bad. Also as well, with my Spitfire sort of connection, we want to do um, like live viewing parties. Now, we can only do them now on a Saturday. If we look at the timing here, right? If you go right to the bottom, guys, you can see Philadelphia Fusion versus Florida Mayhem. That's a 9 p.m. game, yeah, in the UK. That means that that slot is the only possible one where we could do like a live viewing party because you can't have pubs open at like three o'clock in the morning. It's like, that's just insanity, right? But even if you ignore my stupid live viewing stuff and all of that gear, look at this, right? This means that for a standard person in the UK or in Europe, right, if you want to watch one of these games now, before you could watch a lot, you could maybe catch one game uh, a day when Overwatch League was live because of the 10 p.m. start. You know, watching from 10 till midnight, it's, it's still pretty late, but you might catch some of the series, right? If you watched it 10, maybe 10 till 11 or whatever. This now means that, well, you're pretty screwed, right? Every game starts at midnight. And if you're like a fan of, I don't know, let's say I'm a San Francisco Shock fan, right? Uh, well, my first game starts at 4 a.m. Uh, or, or 5 a.m. Central European time. Good God. And then my next game starts at, well, the same time. It's like, it's insanity. This obviously opens up the question as well about Overwatch League and where it's going in the future. Is this just going to be a North American League? Are they, yeah, they've got teams that are based around the world. They've, well, they've got London, right? Um, but all the teams are in America. Now, obviously, this is for logistical purposes. You can't have teams flying all over the globe playing against each other, right? They're probably always going to be based in LA. I mean, that's up to Blizzard and whatever they decide to do. But even if they bring more teams on board, they're probably going to go into Blizzard Arena, maybe? And if that happens, then that means this is, well, this is a North American league. And I, even right now, I feel a little bit shut out. I don't want to be awake at these hours watching these games and and you know what as well and i'll end the video with this guys i'll tell you something i like to watch the games live yeah it's cool watching them back watching the vods back but it's not the same as watching them live is it let me know what you think about this in the comments below guys overwatch league is back today cannot wait it means i can start watching actual good overwatch again instead of playing on the terrible ladder and uh, jeff has given us some information on the competitive tier mode distribution all right guys i've been Starlosa. this is unit lost if you enjoyed the video then like the video follow me on twitter which is at unit lost gaming and i'll catch you guys on the next one toodaloo